I, I hope you appreciate what I do for you people. I swear to fucking God. Just the process of seeing this movie and just everything about this fucking experience I have had trying to go see it, uh, trying to get people just to even, I can't even get, oh my God, fuck this, ah, fuck. So I saw Medea, uh, unfortunately. And everyone was busy today. And today was the only day I could fucking see this. So I went by myself to go see this fucking abomination of a fi- I'm, I'm not even- I'm- I don't have words right now. I am just noises and grunts. I am just- I am just- ah, uh, Fuck this movie. Okay. Uh, so- I was originally supposed to go see this on Thursday, and then Emerus uh, texted me earlier on, so they get East Link came up, I can't do it. Okay, whatever. Rescheduled to Sunday. Then Sunday comes around, I was like, oh, sorry, I got, I, I'm too tired, I can't do it right now. I was like, fuck. So I, I texted just about everyone I could, uh, trying to get someone to either sub in or at least like sit in the car so I had someone to talk to, but I couldn't get, like, everyone was either sick or busy, or that's what they told me anyway. Uh, so I'm stuck in this miserable existence watching a um, boo a Medea Halloween, and I'm watching this series of just noise and nothing going on on screen. What the fuck was that? I mean, oh my. I've sat through Tyler Perry movies before. More often than not, they end up popping my top 10 worst list. This is probably the worst one I've ever seen. Uh, granted, I didn't see a Medea Christmas, uh, so I heard that one's worse. But this one's like, oh my god, if this is what all Medea movies are like, why does anyone like this? That's what's even more baffling to me. Here's the funny, no, not the funny part, is to make this experience even worse, I walked into a crowded theater of people who were laughing and enjoying this movie, and I don't know why! Like, I don't know what, like, they were laughing at things? I'm like, was, did, did I miss a joke? Was something funny happening? Was something funny being said? Because I feel like... This is just... I don't know what the fuck I just watched! It was an hour and 45! minute long movie that felt like a goddamn eternity and maternity eternity fuck english is evading me what is this what is my life fuck i didn't like it <laughs> god damn it i i hope this is what you guys wanted like this is what happens when i see movies by myself especially if it's a bad one i think the same happened with the uh, christmas of the cranks was, was that the movie that came out last year uh, whatever it was either way um Fuck this movie. The, like, fuck the people I saw with. I thought it was apparently just a goddamn masterpiece. Somebody fucking clapped in this movie. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have good, consistent movies. Because nobody goes see the good ones. We go see fucking Medea! Gaha! Okay, so. Where do I even fucking start with this movie? Um. <sighs> this movie is insufferable. There is not a single likable character. There is not a single fucking narrative. There is. This is, is a series of just shenanigans for an hour and 45 minutes. And that's a long, 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 long fucking hour and 45. I noticed because I kept looking at my phone going. It can't. It cannot have only been an hour. It has to have been longer. It, this I, I could not have just sat through. The, this has got to be over soon, right? No, I still got 45 goddamn minutes of the shit left. So I am sitting there. There are parts like everyone else is laughing. I'm over there. You're like, just stupid fucking shit movies. Um. So this Tyler Perry doesn't know how people work. He doesn't care. This is just a series of just racist 
stereotypes of running around, like, just not really even making jokes, just talking, oh, yeah, I get you, I get you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a D, I'm, I'm the other one, I ain't talking in a screechy voice like this, oh, I'm other, I'm, I'm, it's just so obnoxious, this movie never shuts the fuck up. As soon as Medea comes on screen, they nothing happens. They just talk and talk and talk and talk about nothing. There is 20 solid minutes of this movie, or at least what felt like 20 minutes, about how a girl pees a little bit whenever she gets scared. 20 minutes is dedicated to this one fucking joke. It's one fucking thing. Ah! I'm angry. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I like... Just fucking Jesus. So, this movie's about a person named Brian and his daughter, who's a brat. Uh, and uh, the movie's very aware that she's a brat because they play up the 10th nth degree. And her and her hot friends run into this uh, fraternity filled up with just bros like the brosiest bros you could ever find it's just yo bro yo bro i'm the el presidente ah, 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 ah. there's a guy that does that 500 fucking times and i was like is that supposed to be funny what what is that is that uh, uh, is it it's supposed to be irritating because it's fucking working but it's not in, ah! i like i cannot start talking about this movie without just getting incessantly angry because this is by far one of the worst movies I've seen this year. This might be worse than Dirty Grandpa. This might have finally topped it uh, because, oh my God, this movie is just so obnoxious and insufferable and this was just like the easily the most miserable I have been in a theater I can remember this year. Um... Uh, and it's probably amplified by the fact that I saw this alone, which did not help. Uh, with the audience I had, they were all whooping and hollering and talking through the whole goddamn movie. And I'm just... I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for, like, where even to start talking about this. Because they're just... There is so much awful in this movie that I'm just like, I don't know... I don't know! Like, I don't understand the appeal of this. Why do people like this? I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm really, I am lost and confused. <sighs> so, uh, they run to these frat people, and uh, they go, yeah, yay, ladies, oh, you guys go to all, yo, go, this is one of the actual jokes in the movie, uh, Yo, 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 you go to like an all-girl uh, all girl school, right? Well, you've probably never seen a dude before in your life. Well, look at this. This is what a dude looks like. And that's like the extent of their humor. Um, so that happens. And they get invited to a fraternity party. And apparently this woman's really determined to go. Because, oh my god, there's so many cute guys there. Like, Tyler Perry does not understand women at all. At all between like this and a single mom's club and temptation, he does not understand women in the remotest sense. Uh, now, I from what I've heard, this doesn't sound as downright offensive as like a Medea Christmas was, but fuck it, a. Eh? But uh, Brian has to go out somewhere, so he calls Medea to babysit basically his 17 year old daughter and make sure she doesn't go to the fraternity party. Of course she wants to go, and she's a fucking brat. So she decides, like, uh, I can't stand being around these old people, so I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna s find a way to sneak out instead of just, you know, like, you know, climbing out the window. I'm gonna make up this absurdly ridiculous ghost story that's gonna freak them all out. Acted so badly, like, nobody would ever believe this. Ever. Like, I have seen better acting in middle school plays. Fuck. Or even, like, even like those crappy church, like, Jesus plays you see when, you, like, you're in church. Uh, I did my time in church. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, anyway. So, but she brings along all of her ob equally obnoxious, if not more so obnoxious friends who just sit there and just make noise. They don't tell jokes. They just make noise. Like, I can't think... Again, when they're introduced, it goes on for a solid five, ten minutes about them talking about almost nothing. 
And when they're not talking about nothing, they're t they're calling some kid fat or stupid or they're getting whoop their ass and all that shit. And it's just so obnoxious. And it's gr it's nails in the chalkboard of my brain. This is just the most painful character set I have had all year. It is goddamn unbearable. And even think about it now, I hear just. Just remember some of the pieces of shit dialogue, and I'm thinking, I would rat. I thought the hangover I had this morning was the worst part of my day. No. I would go through all at tip times 10, then sit through this fucking thing again. I would rather, like, I, when I was younger, uh, I had a filling in my back molar, and uh, when the dentist put the anesthesia, uh, anesthesia in, it didn't take. I felt every painful bit of that drill on my back tooth. I would do that again, then sit through this movie. Fuck. Huh. And I, I unfortunately can't talk too long about this because I'm, I'm running low on battery, but I'm going to go for as long as I possibly can because fucking hell. So... She just makes this whole elaborate plan. It's stupid. It makes no sense why you would fall for it. They do anyway, and she sneaks out to go to the party. Medea finds out. She goes over there. More wacky shenanigans happen, and there's, and then the frat people find out that the that she's seventeen, and it's followed by the stomach's hell. Like a pan in, zoom in, like old school, like dun dun dun, and then it goes. No! I'm not exaggerating this face. This is exactly the face they fucking make. I need a minute. Why is it the movies I'm going to see alone are like the most miserable experiences you could possibly have in a theater? And it's I, I this is the kind of movie just asks an audience and I don't get it. It's like I, Adam Sandler. I find Adam Sandler insufferable. A lot of people find him funny. Why? I don't know. I don't know at all. This makes no sense to me. Fuck. So more like and it promise like there's like no real act structure to this movie it just shit just keeps happening and you like it's i guess it's supposed to be kind of clever or like it's you're not supposed to suspect what's going to happen you can guess every plot point in this movie from a mile fucking away so medea goes in there they eventually kick her out cuz yeah and um uh, then she calls the cops on them and then after uh, like 20 minutes and then bickering about who, who's going to call the police and uh, the frat boys plan their revenge and say, oh, we got to get back to this. We got to back to this old lady. Get back to this old lady. Get back to this old lady. And then, like, hauntings start happening in the house. And you're just kind of thinking, like, okay, you know it's the frat people. And, of course, it's the fucking frat people because they probably really get chased by zombies. And there's one just doing random flips for no fucking reason other than they can do flips. Um, I, don't, I don't know. There's just so much shit here that doesn't make... Like, I can't find a logical structure in this movie. It just shit happens, and then the movie's over. Uh, like, even at the towards the end, where Medea gets, like, payback. and But they don't tell you it's payback. They do this whole elaborate thing when they act like one of the friends got killed, and maybe the frat boys do it, and then they all go on a prison bus, and then everyone starts screaming and fighting each other while the president, well, El Presidente starts screaming like a baby is going, I want my mommy, basically. And I just, I, and then the movie's over. They walk out, the movie's over. And then, like, it, it kills me, too, because Tyler Perry does this thing, and it's less it's less obnoxious in the movie than the similar ones he's done, like, in Stingle Mom's Club or Temptation. But he does this thing where he tries, like, shoehorn some dramatic moment, like he understands how people work, and he clearly fucking doesn't. Uh, like, uh, towards the end, when... They find, like, the, mom, the, the daughter's been giving dad attitude the entire fucking movie, and towards the end, they have this huge blower. Medea goes like, oh, you gotta kick her ass out. You gotta get her ass out of this room. Get her out of here. She is gone. And, I, <sighs> and uh, so they get this whole dramatic scene, and then she go, and then it's like, why won't you listen to me? Because uh, you let everyone walk all over you, dad. You let mom walk all over you. You let her, but like her boyfriend or husband or whatever walk all over you and like you let me walk all over you and I'm, I'm kind of like where the fuck did this come from this is never brought up at any point before this point in the movie by the way like she, he has a conversation once with his wife on the phone and that is it this comes out of nowhere it, it just 
fucking happens. And they have this big dramatic talk about, I, I'm a dumb dad to try to protect you from the pain of the real world and all that stuff. I'm like, what, 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 what? Was your building, was your, were you supposed to be building to this? Is this, <coughs> God damn it. It's, this is affecting my allergies. Um, it's like, were you building to this moment? Was this like the big, grand, like heartfelt moment where we're supposed to actually like this bitch now? No. Um, was, was there like any build up to this at all? Like, did you have? And, and, and why would? Why? 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 I. 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 I, I, I don't have words for this movie. I just. I'm trying. I'm really trying to legitimately talk about it, and I just can't. It is beyond my sco my realm of comprehension, and it is fucking murdering me. Ugh, I don't, I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs> I already kind of came here annoyed, because like, ah, gotta see this fucking movie by my fucking self, and I fucking goddamn stupid fucking bullshit. Um... So that didn't help, and then the audience didn't help, and seeing the movie did, definitely didn't fucking help. I didn't laugh once. I didn't even fucking smile. And this was just painful in every love, of um, every meaning of the fucking word. I really wish I had someone here to make the, <laughs> to like join in the suffering with me, because this, this is a case where I, I really needed backup, and nobody was there. Um. I'm so disappointed in that because I felt like it made it a little more tolerable if I at least had somebody who had to sit through this piece of shit with me. Um, but it's okay. I'll get them. I'll get them back for it later. Uh, oh, man. I don't know. When did they have time to plan like the reverse prank? When did they let the dad in on it? When did this happen? When did I, how does any of this work? How, like, it's what, uh, I mean, I'm not, I guess I'm not looking, for, I guess I shouldn't be looking for logic because I'm not going to find it, but I'm trying to figure out a fucking point. I don't understand this. I don't. It's just, what? Huh. I think I lost a little faith in humanity watching this movie. I think it just drained me completely. Because, like, there is nobody to root for. There is just so much padding. This movie is stretching to be an hour and 45 minutes long. You could have easily knocked this down to a 30-minute TV episode. And, like, because at least, at least 50 to 70% of the movie is just the... Peep, the the stereotypes arguing with each other. That is a majority of the movie, and every one of them is like increasingly obnoxious. There is, of course, Medea, who is the obnoxious main character in drag. There's a uh, like so there's like her friends who keeps talking about how she has a marijuana prescription uh, card. Hey, 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 I can't wait to show the cops this. And you got the other one that's like the wheezy and like uh, I swear to God, sounds like a I don't know. I, I don't have a proper comparison, but she's uh, like, Oh, my dear! <laughs> I can't do her voice, but I'm just thinking, just like, fuck, man. Just... Fuck. I did not need this today. I didn't need this yesterday. I didn't need this ever. And the fact that I had to go this alone just makes it everything. Is, I apologize, guys. <sighs> yeah. My allergies have been flaring up since, uh, like, this fucking season started and I'm um, this movie did not help <coughs> uh, I don't know guys like I, I wish I can go I, I guess the cinema snob episode is like it's an hour and a half long and maybe I'd have more to talk about if it, I was with them but I, I don't have the words to properly convey the awfulness of this movie if you if you're one of the people that likes this movie I would love to l know why I would genuinely like to know, what is the appeal that I am missing? What is the joke that I am missing? Because I don't get it. And, like, this is honestly... And Ron's basically told me the same thing. Like, this feels just... This feels like it tapes, like, black comedy back, f like, 20 years. Because this is just... This is... This might as well be blackface. I'm just gonna fucking say it, because fuck it. <sighs> Because this is just as stereotypical and, quite frankly, racist as it gets. And now, granted, 
The Gemara is in a Medea Christmas. There, was, there wasn't any fucking uh, KKK members in there, so at least there's that. But there's all kinds of talks about, like, oh, you kids today are too lenient on your kids. We gotta whoop them. We gotta beat them up. Uh, and, that, like, it, it, I can't tell if it's trying to say it's a bad thing or is genuinely advocating for it, because it feels like they kind of are. Because so their justification was like, well, that, that traumatized me, but you ain't dead. And it's kind of, so, like, okay. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of in That's My Boy. When, uh, uh, fucking, what's his name? Andy Samberg is talking about his shitty dad to a priest. And he goes, uh, yeah, no, he just wasn't a very good dad. And, the, like, the priest just goes, did your father abuse you? Did, you? did your father, like, hurt you physically? Did he touch you inappropriately? Then he wasn't a bad father. No! Still a bad father, just not like criminally bad. Oh, I'm pretty, I like was emotional as fuck, but it's kind of like you know, just because whatever justification you have, like whatever way you use to justify something, some kind of incredibly shitty behavior, usually involves ignoring like 20 plus actual facts about why that is actually dangerous. So just saying oh, you ain't dead, that means you, would, it means you did the job. It's not necessarily a good justification. Uh, now, granted, I'm pretty sure that's a joke, so maybe I'm taking that one too seriously, but at the same time, I also feel like the movie is remarkably advocating for, like, violence against children, uh, which, after meeting these children, I can't really blame them all that much, but at the same time, it's like, can't, it's, do you have anything of substance to say? Do you have anything of point to say? Are you just going to ramble on and on and on and on and on and on until you maybe get a chuckle out of somebody? And apparently it does, because everyone in my theater was fucking laughing, and I... For the life of me, do not know why. And now I'm just repeating myself. I mean, just fuck. And even then, like, I feel like this conflict could have ended so much faster. Because the whole, like, second half is how, like, these frat boys are getting revenge on Medea by trying to haunt her house. How they got in, I don't know. How they work out, like, how they do, like... <coughs> hmm. There's a scene where, uh... One of the girls, like, using a sink, but the sink keeps turning on by itself. Okay, whatever. <sighs> And um, the steam gets in the uh, steam gets in the mirror, and they write out, "Get your fat ass out of this house." And I'm thinking, it's like, okay, he explained later on they have somebody that can apparently hack anything, and one person that's really good with makeup. But I'm wondering, like, okay, how the hell did you do that without anyone seeing you do that? You can't hack a fucking mirror, so how'd you do that? But whatever, they ne they never bother to explain. They say, "Oh, cause we we're really good like that. We get the best." Be 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 be. Apparently, it's a thing you can do if you can ha you can hack a fucking mirror. And then there's a part where, like, I mean, you goes to the attic, and there's a creepy clown standing there that moves, and she punches it, and she and it runs away. And this happens five times in this movie. A clown gets punched, she turns and runs away. I'm thinking, why not just punch the clown and take off the fucking mask? What the fuck is stopping you? Uh, I, I, that didn't make any sense. That's what the uh, what the other guy that's in the house does. He had the logical idea there. Um. Uh, so why didn't they do that? Why is, again, why is nothing really happening? Like, were they, did they plan on, like, the, there's a bunch of zombies out, they have a bunch of dressed up as zombies outside their house, and they approach when the car breaks down. Did they know the car was gonna break down? How did they plan that? Were they just gonna hope, were they just gonna sit there and hope that she eventually stopped for whatever reason? What was the plan? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, none, this, fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. Fuck everyone that was involved in it. Fuck Tyler Perry. Like, I, I, I thought I dodged a bullet by no longer ever seeing Adam Sandler movies, and technically I did. However, I still gotta sit through fucking Tyler Perry movies, so I'm kinda hoping he gets a Netflix deal just so I don't have to see these fucking movies in fucking theaters anymore. Cause, god damn it. God damn it. Fuck! So, yeah, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I I hope you find my anger amusing because I don't have much else to offer at this point. So I'm going to uh, just go on to trailers right now because I I'm out of stuff to talk about. Um. Uh, yeah. So let's see. First trailer I got was for Hacksaw. I got the Hacksaw Ridge trailer again, which is the Daniel Garfield uh, war movie where he's like just the folksiest military man I've ever seen in a movie. Like, it might... It's like, I, I can't go to one where I can't use a gun. It's, kind of, it's almost like one of those uh, over-the-top rednecks you see in, like, uh, 
Like, yeah, like he's, he almost sounds like one of the uh, hillbillies in Django, where the ones that go on the lynch squad. He sounds like one of them, except this one, instead of trying to sound comedic, he's trying to sound like really earnest and heartfelt, and it just comes off as really fucking corny. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. And then we got La, I got La La Land, um, which is in Emma Stone, which, yeah, you to see Emma Stone back. I've seen her in a while. And Ryan Gosling, which I'm like, Oh uh, boy, this this isn't giving a this isn't giving a crap, Ryan Gosling. I've gotten lead that I've actually really liked. This is hot, smoldering, not trying, Ryan Gosling. So I'm like, oh boy, it's gonna be one of those movies. I mean, it looks pretty. The the song I like the Emma Stone song in the trailer. I thought that was just pretty good. The rest of the movie, eh, it looks like a standard romance movie. Uh, but then we got Fences, which is a movie I really want to go fucking see because Daniel Washington, uh, Denzel Washington, just talking shit. And just taking, no, not just taking names, but like in a serious dramatic role where you can still like talk like Denzel Washington. Fuck yeah, I'm down. Uh, oh, also back to Hacksaw Ridge. I also kind of lost credibility when I saw Vince Vaughn was the drill sergeant. I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't buy that. Uh, and then I got, and then I got the trailer for Loving. Um... Uh, all these trailers I've gotten before, I got the trailer for Loving Again, which I still kind of say, the main character is, to me, kind of looks like the character from, uh, Sling Blade. It just, just kind of reminds me of it, I can't help it. Uh, it doesn't sound anything like him, but it looks kind of like him. Uh, and then I got Moonlight, which I still have no idea what it is, but apparently according to its own, like, dick pumping trailer it is amazing oh my god that like 90 percent of that trailer is look at these amazing things people are saying about us we are so amazing come see our movie we are all transcendental experience and if i go out see a movie and it's not a transcendental experience i will be massively disappointed um but yeah that was all the trailers i got the rest of it was just trial by fire seeing this fucking movie and i'm so i, I know i'm sorry guys i'm sorry that i'm yelling and I'm screaming and I'm just it's been a rough it's been a rough night guys it's been rough and tomorrow's my birthday this is a hell of a way to get things going I'm gonna go home I feel so defeated. I feel so fucking defeated today. Like today just like not gone well for me in any respect. Oh man. The good news is I did download Skyrim for myself. So I'm gonna go home and play that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.